Hello everyone, I'm Ihsan. In today's video, we will see how to set up Samsung smartphone that you just opened up from its box. This is the setting that I usually apply when reviewing Samsung smartphone or when upgrading to another series. For the smartphone that we use in this video is Samsung Galaxy M51. For the Samsung Galaxy M51, it uses One UI Core version. But you can also adjust this setting for other Samsung series as well. The first setting that I always change when using a new smartphone is activating swipe down notification feature. Actually, from the home screen, you can immediately swipe down to open notification panel. But by default, this feature is always disabled. You can activate this feature in this section. From this section, you just have to select swipe down for this notification panel. So when you are on the home screen and want to open the notification panel, you can just swipe down like this. And you don't need to swipe from the top of the screen like before. This is certainly quite easy especially when you use the smartphone with one hand like this. Then the second setting that I usually change is the setting at the top of the notification panel. At the top of the notification panel, there are no default settings to adjust the brightness. To bring up the brightness setting, first you have to swipe down like this. Then the setting will appear at the bottom. However, when you swipe only once like before, the brightness is not there. To bring up the brightness setting at the top, you can swipe twice in the notification panel. Then select the settings at this three dots icon at the top right corner. At the top right corner, you can select the quick panel layout. Here, you just need to activate show brightness on top. Then the brightness setting will appear at the top. This will make it easier for you when you want to adjust the brightness on your smartphone. So you don't need to swipe twice like this to adjust the brightness. Then the third setting is to display the battery percentage indicator. By default, the battery indicator percentage does not appear at the top right corner. To see the battery indicator, you have to swipe first and then the percentage appears. And to show the percentage continuously for both on the home screen and in the notification panel, you can activate it in the settings section. Then click on the three dot icon on the top right corner. And you can also access this setting by opening it from the settings then select notification. Then from there, select status bar. The settings are the same as we access from the top notification panel. To be faster, you can directly set from the top notification panel here. Then you can activate show battery percentage in this section. Later, the battery percentage will immediately appear at the top of the notification panel. For the next setting, we also activate this all notification. So that when there are more than 3 notifications, it will appear in the status bar. Then the next setting that I usually change immediately is remove quick access for Samsung Pay. Because I usually use full notification gesture, so Samsung Pay is a bit annoying when you have to swipe from a home screen like this. So instead of returning to the home screen, the Samsung Pay will open up. So this will certainly be annoying if you use full screen gesture on your smartphone. So you can just delete quick access by going to the Samsung Pay settings. You just have to open the Samsung Pay application and click settings at the top left corner. From there, open the settings then select quick access. In the quick access section, you can turn off the setting for the home screen and lock screen. Now you just have to click on set and Samsung Pay will no longer open when you swipe from home like this. Then the next setting that I usually change immediately is to activate the full navigation gesture. If you look at the settings on this phone from the first tips, you can see that we have activated the full screen navigation gesture. It is to make it easier when navigating through the setting on this smartphone. To activate the full screen gesture like the one we show on this video, you can go directly on the settings. Then select display. Then from there select navigation bar. Then select full screen gesture in this section. If you have updated to One UI 2.1, you can also select more option. Then select swipe from sides and bottom. The setting is pretty easy to use and ideal when using your smartphone with one hand. So you can directly access home by swiping from the bottom and you can directly back and exit the application by swiping from the left or right of the screen. This new gesture is very easy to use and I highly recommend you to try to use it on your smartphone. Then for smartphone that are full screen like this, you can activate the full screen experience by disabling gesture hints at the bottom. The gesture hints is the line at the bottom of your screen. This gesture hint setting will remove the line at the bottom of your screen. Usually we omit this setting because it is rarely used. 
so the display of your smartphone will be much cleaner and more immersive when you use it. Then the bonus tip for those of you who use a smartphone with a physical fingerprint or fingerprint on the side like this, you can activate this side fingerprint to open the notification panel as well. So it functions like swiping on the screen like this. To activate it, you can go to the settings then select advanced features. In the advanced feature section, you can select motions and gestures, then select finger sensor gestures. After activating the setting, you can immediately swipe on the fingerprint to open the notification panel on the screen. The setting is very useful for those of you who use side fingerprints like on this smartphone. So if you haven't activated already, you can activate it in the motion and gesture section. If you have questions or comments, you can immediately write down in the comment section down below. Or you can also ask directly on our telegram channel at the following link. You can also find the link in the description of this video. You can also ask directly on our instagram account at sunsertainment. See you in the next video.